I would like to start the dialogue with my question to you, Your Holiness. Mm -hmm. In school, we learn about math, science, English, and much more. Our minds are educated in so many different subjects. My question to you, Your Holiness, is why do you think that it is the responsibility of schools to also educate the hearts of students? As I mentioned earlier, uh, a person now nearly 80 years old and also life not easy way, a lot of difficulties. Uh, then also, opportunity meeting with a variety of people. Some I think leaders, uh, some beggars. Through that way, I develop, and also I think the meeting with uh, respected, quite well-known scientist and also some spiritual practitioner. Eventually, you see, uh, I, I, I fully sort of convinced uh, real happy life not depend on just external means, wealth, uh, even good family, not necessarily being, bring real happy life. Then of course power, sometimes money and power may bring more anxiety, more worry, more fear. So then, and also you see, look, world. I always listen BBC radio, radio BBC broadcast. Oh. And of course, newspaper. Uh, so a lot of problems in our world. Suppose this 21st century, because of 20th century's sort of experiences, so many violence, so many war, so many killing. Over 200 million killed through violence. So still, on this, not in the first century, still, a lot of problems, a lot of violence. Oh. So, so therefore, so therefore, the many of these problems, man-made problems, the many of them, I think, educated people, more smart brain. <laughs> so this shows existing education failed to bring inner peace, to bring moral principle. So then, if you ask government to bring moral principle, difficult. Even the United Nations, difficult. By force, impossible. So only through education, or if we rely on religious sermon, faith, very good, wonderful. It cannot cover seven billion human beings. Out of seven billion, over one billion non-believer. So then the only alternative is through education, through awareness. Everybody wants a happy life. Uh, the ultimate source of happiness, happy life within ourselves. Moral, moral principle is actually those physical action, mental action, verbal action brings some sort of happiness to other. That's moral. So we are social animals. Think more. 
well-being of other that brings inner strength that reduces fear distrust through that way we can build real happy uh, as a human society as a social animal so that's through education not through preaching not through law so education about heart and education brain that already exist since the the presence sort of education system uh, is very much oriented about material value not much sort of uh, not much talk about our inner value like that thank you your holiness <laughs>